done a Facebook Live in a while, but, you know, here I am. Wait a second, where did I put that? Oh, for heaven's sake. Anyway, I am making, uh, I'm doing Thanksgiving prep. And I'm, I'm, I'm serious about it this year because I don't, I don't want to be exhausted on Thanksgiving Day. Hang on just a second. No, here we go. Oh, someone's trying to get in here. Hey, did it? Nope. I'm doing a Facebook Live, so just go on out. Right now? Shut, shut the door. Yeah, go, go, go. Anyway, <clears throat> I've been, this is my uh, dinner roll um, dough, and if, if, if you belong to my Patreon group, you have all my Thanksgiving recipes. This is my dinner roll recipe. And I've been going through, oh, here it is. I was looking for my orange pastry scraper. I have been going through, and so today I made my sweet potato casserole, um, except for the marshmallows and coconut and pecans on top. And I'll put those on before I put that in the oven on Thanksgiving Day. <clears throat> today I also made um, mashed potatoes. And tomorrow I'm gonna prep my stuffing and my pie crust. And I'm going to get the turkey all ready. And, cause it takes a lot to prepare the turkey before you actually put it in the oven. And so I'm gonna put it, you know, in the pan and cover it with the salt and the pepper and the butter and all of the um, herbs. The herb bouquet and also the carrots, celery, and uh, onions. And then I made my cranberry relish uh, last week. So we're okay. <clears throat> we're on track. And I uh, I started this. Let's see. So if you're on my Patreon group, you have this recipe. I don't think I have it on my website yet. Although I'll I'll go ahead and put it on my website probably tomorrow. And these are really really good dinner rolls. And um, I started this recipe probably at about 11 o'clock this morning. It is now uh, 8 o'clock at night. So um, you just need two really long rise periods, which is fine if you're busy. And so I just wanted to show you what it looked like when I went ahead and uh, pulled it out of the uh, bowl. And um, I might be able to just put the whole recipe in the comments. So it's six cups of flour, two and two thirds cup powdered milk, one tablespoon of salt, five tablespoons of sugar, four teaspoons yeast, two cups warm water, two eggs, and a quarter cup of melted butter. And then additional butter to um, grease the bowl, which is where it's been rising. So then, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll these out and then um, freeze them. And, oh, hey, how are you doing? And then I'm, I'm going to freeze these. So on Thanksgiving morning, all I have to do is just take them out of the freezer. And we, we usually don't eat till late because I'm having too much fun cooking and I, I don't like to rush. And so um, they will defrost and the final rise will happen on Thanksgiving Day. So anyway, that's it. I was, um, I was just telling the kids today that, so this is probably the last year in a while where we won't have guests. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Um, we haven't had guests in a few years. And even when we did, it was, it was very loose, loosely done. And, uh, you know, I, I, you know, you guys who, who know me know that, I mean, for me, the, the center of Thanksgiving is the cooking. That's, that's the whole point of it. Uh, not right now, sweetheart. Okay, go downstairs. I'll be down in a second. I'm on doing the Facebook Live. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um... So let's see here. This is about the right size I want. So anyway, I was just telling my kids because um, um, I like to 
so one of the things I always endeavored to do, I was just telling my girls this tonight, is that um, for us, so a lot of people like to have a house full of people on Thanksgiving. And when my children were young, I, I always thought, okay, well, we could do that, sure. And, and maybe once or twice we did. But um, generally speaking, my focus when the children were little, so I'm creating these little roles, was, and because we're a military family and, and we're always, you know, somewhere, you know, somewhere, um, my, my focus was to, to, to build a family culture. And I, I did not want these holidays to turn into me entertaining people and then like putting my kids, like go watch a movie or go sit at the kids table. I, that's not what I wanted. And, and, and I'm glad I took that approach because, you know, when they were little, I wanted them to feel like Thanksgiving was for them, right? Not for people. I mean, honestly, in, in military culture, if we were going to have a house full of people, it would be people my children didn't even know. It, and and I, I just didn't want, I mean, look, most of my kids are introverts like me. <laughs> We used to, have, so, so once when we lived in New Orleans and I, I've had large, large, I've done large scale entertaining before, you know, for my husband's units and stuff. And <laughs> once in New Orleans and I, I mean, my goodness, did I ever work on these things, but we had this, this big, you know, unit function and it was all Cajun themed and I worked so hard and one of my daughters, she was she was about four and um, she hid under the table. She was, first of all, she was not happy that our house was full of people. And I don't blame her, okay. But she hid under the table. <laughs> she barked at everybody. <laughs> and people, they'd be like, oh, there's a little girl under the table. And they, you know, it's like the buffet table. I had it all set up. And, um, <laughs> She is down there, and whenever anyone like like, oh look, there's a little girl down there. She would just like, arr, 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 arr. she would bark at them. Anyway, good times. But you know that was an early indication to me that my children were not fans of large scale entertaining. And so while I did do, I did some pretty epic large parties. I, I never ever did large scale entertaining on Christmas, you know, and maybe once or twice during Thanksgiving. But I wanted my children to understand that no one from outside the family was going to come barging into the house. No, no children were going to need to hide underneath a table and bark at strangers. <laughs> and the kids were just allowed to be, okay? And if we ate at noon, fine. If we ate at nine o'clock at night, that's fine too. Or once or twice, I, I we, the kids and I would be so having a marvelous time making pies that we just decided to eat our Thanksgiving dinner on Friday. And that's fine too, okay? And so now, so when my children were little, if you're, if you're new here, hey, how are you doing? Um, I'm just making dinner rolls and I'm, I'm going to freeze these and defrost and bake on Thanksgiving day. So when my children were little, it was, it was my goal to make them feel like they were the honored guests of Thanksgiving, of Christmas, that nobody was going to come walking through our door, take my time and attention away. I wasn't going to have to feel like I had to perform or be fabulous or have a fabulous house or whatever. And so, and that, that has really helped build a really close family and, and a really nice family culture. So, um, I was just telling my husband the other day, I was like, you know, this might, this sounds shaky camera, this might be the last Thanksgiving where we don't have any guests. Um, because my children are much older now and it's not so taxing on me to do all this cooking I don't know. And I do have a few trusted friends here who I would be like, I, I it would be a genuine invitation and not just like, <laughs> do I have to? You know what I mean? 
anyway, um, and so, I don't know, if I ever do, I, I, I was just looking at my Patreon group, so I, I try to post a, a new recipe on my Patreon group, like, every weekday, which, it, it works out about 90% of the time, so, um, and I've got, I've got now over 160 recipes there, and so, you know, I don't know if I'm ever going to write a real cookbook one day, that would be nice, but if I do, it's going to have the theme of, you know, make your holidays, you know, let your children be part of it, um, because now, um, the beautiful thing is that because my children have been the, the, the real, the centerpiece, the focal point of, of each holiday, and they each have their job and we cook together, and it's not about getting a perfect meal on the table, um, and, and, and me in like a dress and looking fabulous and entertaining people, and then it, it's about me and the kids hanging out in the kitchen together, <laughs> you know? And that now that they're teenagers, I'll tell you what, that's, that's pretty awesome. And so, you know, we went to the commissary to do the Thanksgiving shopping and they all knew what to get because we've been cooking the same foods for years now. And, um, little Rosie and part of our Thanksgiving day is, um, the kids while I'm cooking, the kids will put together a Charlie Brown lunch and it's just so, so cute. And this started years ago, and it was my oldest daughter's idea to make a Charlie Brown lunch. And so if you've ever seen the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, it, um, it has, so what is, Char so the, the story is basically, Charlie Brown's little friends all assume that he's doing something, and Peppermint Patty's just inviting everyone over, right? <laughs> and so a bunch of kids show up at Charlie Brown's house, and he doesn't have a plan. And so he and Snoopy just decide to cook what, you know, he knows how to make. And so the only foods that Charlie Brown and Snoopy know how to make are toast, popcorn, um, jelly beans, and pretzels, I think. Is that it? And so now part of Thanksgiving is the Charlie Brown lunch. And so uh, my kids, hold on a second, I gotta get a pan. Oh, sorry, honey. Um... So my kids uh, always, you know, cook the Charlie Brown lunch and it's a big to do and it's just so, so cute. So then that's kind of like their midday meal and then we'll eat at dinner. Anyway, I think all of, let's see if all of these fit. This is a quarter sheet pan. So this is not the way they're going to look. This is, this is the pre-freezing, um, yeah, I'm going to get a... No. Hold on. Oh, here we go. All right. Pizza pan. I'm going to get a pizza pan. So anyway, um, and I've been working on like my make ahead Thanksgiving recipes. And, and so we've been living overseas for so long. I have had, um, I've had plenty of opportunity to explain to foreigners I'm the foreigner here, but you know, non-Americans, <laughs> so many foreigners in Germany, um, so, uh, you know, what, what Thanksgiving means to us and, you know, how we go about it and, um, you know, because it's, if you think about it, it's in so many, oh, thank you, Daphne. She says my hair is on point. I just got it done. I have the best hairstylist and, um, <laughs> we, um, uh, you know, Thanksgiving, so many, so many of us, we, we just, we know what to do. We know what it's about. But, um, after explaining it, I mean, we lived in England, we lived in Japan, we live here in Germany now. I mean, there's a lot of, of different ways of doing Thanksgiving. And also, um, you know, I always have a lot of fun describing to people, like there's certain Southern dishes and then there's certain northern dishes, and, and then there's midwestern dishes. Like if you put a marshmallow in anything, that's kind of a midwestern. Oh, I don't know. There's the marshmallows on the sweet potato pie, but it, you know. And then as a westerner, someone who grew up in Oregon, I mean, really, 
I think what we did was grab where our people came from. Because none of us just sprouted up in Oregon out of nowhere. I mean, our people had to move there from somewhere. And so for me, that is kind of a, a southern northern mix, honestly. So it's all fascinating. Anthropologically, it's crazy fascinating. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now, I got my... They smell really good. These have been, I started working on these this morning. They've had two long rise sessions and I'm going to freeze them now. I'm going to take them out of the freezer on Thanksgiving morning. I'm going like pretty early and I'm going to, you know, take them off the pan, give them plenty of space and then they're going to defrost and have their third and final rise. And then I will probably sprinkle some flour over the top for a nice kind of snowflake look and then I'll bake them and they're lighter than air lighter than air um anyway so my point is if I ever do write a cookbook which I'm I'm I've got so many cookbooks now that I research just to be like what do I want mine to be like there's a lot of different kinds did you guys know that that's that's really the interesting thing when you start learning how many different types of cookbooks there are but um you know, I want mine to be really about how to how to build a family culture alongside all your cooking, because that's what I did intentionally years ago when I decided, look, I want my Thanksgiving to be about like kids sitting on counters and helping with everything and being part of just Oregon cooking. That's right. That's right. And, and my kids like being part of it and feeling part of it and not feeling like it was my day to have a perfect house with the perfect dinner and, and some performance art, which I, I could have done that, but I didn't want to do that. You know what I mean? And, um, and so, you know, the, the end result of that after, you know, a couple decades of really just, just saying, no, it's just going to be us. And let the kids help and it's going to take us as long as it takes us and we're just for me the, the cooking was the event and the kids would come around me and you know we would all make pies and my husband <laughs> do all the dishes and you know you had to have a support staff like that and he would always run out and, and the, the great thing about being in a foreign country when you have thanksgiving is that no one else takes the day off it's only the americans and so if i was like nick I need you to go get me 12 Granny Smith apples right now, you know. He would, he, he'd be like, done, do it. And he'd probably go out and have a little peace and quiet out by himself to go get me the apples. But the result of that was, um, you know, now that I've got like a group of teenagers, I've got four teenagers and, and then little Rosie, um, is that they all really do take part and they really do feel that this holiday belongs to them. They, they helped me with the shopping. They helped me fill up the carts. They were checking things. Well, what about the stuffing, Mama? And what do we, you know, this? And I, I mean, it, that's the beautiful part of it. And so I was thinking that maybe, I was telling my husband, maybe next year we'll have a guest over or two, somebody I really trust, like my hairstylist, Gyota, who's Greek. And she and I have all these jokes. So, I mean, as a food writer, <laughs> No, no shade at any other food writers, but you can't just throw feta cheese on something and call it Greek. You cannot do that. <laughs> so now she and I have a standing joke, like, like a Greek hamburger or throw cheese. It's not the same. Anyway. Um, and anyway, if, if I trust you enough to touch my head, I would probably trust you enough to, to come to my house for Thanksgiving. So, um, I was just telling her this year, I was like, okay, I'm inviting you next year if you would come. And so, um, and that's just, you know, the kind of people who, you know, I mean, you guys, if you know me, you know, I'm very cautious and, um, I vet my friends quite carefully. So, and, um, and so I have friends, but Thanksgiving friends, that's, that's a whole, for me, that's not a, that's not a, a that's not a, a superfluous arrangement that is well thought out. So I'm already thinking to next year. And um, anyway, because whoever comes over has to understand that we're having our Charlie Brown lunch, which is the toast and the, and the uh, popcorn and the, the uh, pretzels and jelly beans. 
okay? And we're also just gonna have a super relaxed day. And, um, you know, for me, that's what it's about. Anyway, like I said, I have done large scale entertaining where there were people in my house who I didn't know, my husband's units, etc. And um, and that was fine at that time and place. But um, when it comes to like Thanksgiving and Christmas, I mean, that's, that's inner sanctum stuff because you gotta be in the kitchen with me. We gotta be talking and, and chopping things together. And that's, that's the specialness of it for me anyway. So anyway, um, that's my dinner rolls. I, I, like I said, today I worked on my sweet potato casserole, my mashed potatoes and the dinner rolls. And for the, I, uh, and I went to the exchange cause I had a hair appointment and I picked up, um, I picked up a uh, Popeye's chicken for dinner, which I've never done before, but you know, there's all kinds of ways to be kind to yourself <laughs> and picking up dinner, takeout dinner when you've been working on Thanksgiving food all day. That's, that's good. And then tomorrow I'm going, when the kids are at school, cause they have school tomorrow, which I wish they didn't. I wish they gave us a day, a day before Thanksgiving, because when I homeschooled my kids, um, the day before Thanksgiving, I mean, we were making pies together. I had babies on the counters. I had, you know, and, and each one of my kids and I would make a special pie together, just the two of us. And, um, but once my kids went to school, it was the, you know, they don't get Wednesday off. I think they should all get Wednesday off. So all families can cook together for a day, but that's not, that's just my plan. Anyway, tomorrow when my kids get home from school, I'm gonna have the, the pie crust ready. And what else? Oh, I'm working on stuffing tomorrow. And I'm also going to unwrap the turkey and, and press it and dress it and get it ready to go. So Thanksgiving morning, all I have to do is take it out of the, of the fridge and, and then put it in the oven. But so tomorrow after school, we're gonna work on some pies, me and my kids. And then on Thanksgiving day, since I have some other side dishes pre-prepared, we're gonna also work on some pies and of course have our Thanksgiving, our Charlie Brown Thanksgiving lunch. And that's that. And that's that. So, and then the day after Thanksgiving, since we're in Germany, one of my daughters has a speech and debate tournament with the Germans because they don't, it's just a regular day for them. So we said, go ahead and go because she's so smart and you know, she was like, can I go to the speech and debate tournament? And I'm like, of course you can. And then, uh, and then that's it. My husband and I have to do some targeted online shopping because I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing as joyful as staying on budget <laughs> for me in, in the holiday season. So I, I got to get things squared away. And last year we did last minute Christmas shopping and it almost broke me. I hated that. And so we're going to do some planning and then that's it. All of a sudden, you know, we're rounding the corner to Christmas season and it just, it can get away from you. It can get really stressful really fast if you don't be careful. So like I said on my Facebook post a few weeks ago, like I only go to my children's Christmas concerts. That's it. <laughs> There's no, I just do nothing. I do nothing else. I will sit there and my son's band concert and smile and, and wave and all the little Christmas concerts they have, but you won't see me at any other event because I'm not going. And, and I, I gotta rest. And so um, anyway, that's that. Um, anyway, thanks for being here with me today. I super appreciate it. I, I have all my Thanksgiving recipes. I mean, if you're interested, I, I mean, most people have their own, like the ones they go to. But if you're interested in trying something new or whatever, or you want to try this, I'll probably put, I'll, you know what, I'm probably just going to cut and paste this right here and put it in the comments below this video. And then uh, maybe tomorrow, if I have time, I, I might put it up on my website. But if, if you, if, you know, if you're part of my Patreon group, then you can just type in Thanksgiving to the search bar and you'll get all of my Thanksgiving recipes and then these these um, printable papers, which I do realize take a ton of ink. <laughs> I did not think of that when I designed them 
two years ago, but, um, you know, I'm sorry. I'll, I don't know. I like the picture, but you know, not everyone wants to spend a ton of ink on a cranberry picture. Anyway, it, but they're there. Uh, if, if you want to try those out anyway, I'm going to freeze these little Rosie has, uh, the Charlie Brown, um, Thanksgiving special ready to watch. And my kids, they get, they get very, um, particular, you know, we're not allowed to watch Charlie Brown Thanksgiving up until like today. They won't, they won't let each other like, no, we're not watching that until it's closer to Thanksgiving. And they're, they won't, they probably won't let us watch, uh, Charlie Brown Christmas until Friday or Saturday. And then we'll get to the green light to watch <laughs> Charlie Brown Christmas. Um, and that's fine. Um, you know, anyway, um, I'll talk to you soon and I'm going to put these in the freezer and go watch Charlie Brown Thanksgiving with Rosie and whoever else wants to hang out with us. Can you guys hear nutmeg? What are you, she's wrestling something down there. Anyway, so that's it. I, you know, I was going to try to do like, thanks. I, I was going to try to do a bunch of like video videos this year and I just, I just, I just couldn't. I had other stuff going on and I had a, a setback a couple of months ago and that threw me off my, you know, work schedule. So that's fine. It happens. Anyway, I hope to just, I hope to get one like good YouTube video out between now and Christmas. That would be great. That's my goal. And, um, maybe, maybe, maybe even two. That would, that would be great, but I don't, I'm not putting any pressure on myself. Anyway, thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good Thanksgiving and I hope everyone just stays calm and, and gets plenty of sleep. And if you didn't know, so I, I don't know if you guys have this, I don't know if I have American Netflix or German Netflix at this point. I'm pretty sure I have. Anyway, I watched Legends of the Fall yesterday while I was like, you know, peeling potatoes and stuff. I tell you what, that's a good show. <laughs> when I saw it, when I was like 20, I was traumatized because there's so much tragedy in that movie. And now that I'm like 48 and I've seen plenty of tragedy in my own life, I'm like, yeah, that checks out. <laughs> that, that's the way it is. Anyway, so try to watch that because I think they're taking it off Netflix in, in, a, in a week or so. So Legends of the Fall, you know, a good one. Anyway, take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.